Tattoos, you either love them or you hate them. I don't like the things. I just can't stand them. I, th I think they're fine. Uh, I actually think they're really cool to be honest. On today's programme, we'll be finding out some opinions on tattoos and how they're becoming more socially acceptable in today's society. I, I personally, I like them. I like them. Some people might not. Your body is a temple, so you should decorate the walls. This is Inked Up. We did an online survey of 65 people to find out their opinions on tattoos and if they had any of their own. A majority of the people that participated in our survey were female. When we asked them how old they were, 64% of them said that they were 30 or older. When we asked them if they had any tattoos, over 50% of them said they did. 62% of them said that they got their first tattoo for no particular reason. 65% of them said that tattoos are sometimes attractive. We carried out some face-to-face -face interviews with people, and here are the results. In my opinion, I mean, I, I'm a Christian, I believe that God created us. Way too many people think they make them look like an individual. Just get them for the, have, like, the sake of having them. Uh, they can look quite ta uh, tacky. He created us in a way where, you know, our hat, arms and whatever, our whole body is, is beautiful. Um, but if you get them and like, they mean something to you, then they can be like quite cool. But they don't, because so many people have tattoos. People think the designs of them are individual. They don't. A lot of people have them tattoos. It's just silly. I wish. I don't have any money, therefore I do not have any tattoos. That's my only reason. Uh, yeah, when I'm a bit older, I think I'd get some. But if they're like, actually meant something to me, I'd rather them. Yeah, I would like one. Or maybe a few. Something a bit crazy, brightly coloured. Hmm. I'd probably, I've, I've already thought of something like, um, I'd probably get like, a tattoo with a word underneath it meaning um, in Japanese rooms always. Like. Right, so Otherwise I'd be covered. I wouldn't like <laughs> a plus size pin up girl sat on a cupcake on my arm. Like my friend's got some brightly coloured skull on his arm, you know, one on each arm. I'm at Great Nan's turning 100 this year so I'll probably get an infinity tattoo done. Something for my granddad, something that has meaning. Like. Um, so that it's there and it will always mean something, so that's why I want the word always. Kind of like where you have them like all over your body, like head to toe. When it's like swear words or like pornographic images. It depends on your lifestyle, I think. I mean, you can't really... You can only judge someone on the sort of lifestyle they lead. Or have you seen that guy that's like got Miley Cyrus portrayed all over his body? Like that's a little bit weird. Like. It's creepy. Like if you've got them on your face and stuff, it looks a bit like stupid, but. And with regards to whether they've gone over the top with tattoos, I mean, if you're like an accountant and you don't really go out raving and you don't go out drinking, you're a very mild person, and then you decide that you want to get tattoos all over your arms and all over your face and all over your body. Um, if you've got like just a sleeve, they can look all right, but if you've got them like, from yeah, pretty much your head to your toe, then it look a bit dark. Really. Become a stalker of someone and start like having their face on you. Maybe it's a bit weird. Yeah. It just looks a bit weird. Looks a bit over the top. I say so if that's the sort of look you're going for, then it sounds about right. We went to interview a local tattooist, Mandy from Slim Shader, to talk about her experiences in the tattooing world. Do you have any sort of like particular style or preference? Uh, Japanese has a nice look. Yeah, done a little bit. Oh yeah, done a little bit. Yeah, done me eyebrows, done a bit of my leg. Done the eyeliner one. To anybody, who would it be and why? Uh, uh, yeah, done a little bit of my leg. <laughs> I don't know why. What's your favourite tattoo you've ever done? One of my favourite, I always uh, think of one that I've done when I've been tattooing for six months. It was a tattoo of Wolverine. Still one of my favourites. Took about eight hours. Um, no, I've, I've done a lot of the stuff we do now is bigger scale, so it's like more like a project. But, you know, I've got a few sleeves that I really like that I've done. 
what's been the strangest or funniest request that you've ever had? Uh, probably time for it on, some, on a boat willy. About time for it. Well, I tell you time for it. Really. I, do you know what? I kind of agree with it. I don't think they are too much. I think. I think if people want tattoos, they can have them, you know. They're discriminated in a way that people think of them as like, you've got this, you've got to live this with, with, with this for the rest of your life. Um, do you actually want this? On the other hand, I think there's certain jobs where some people aren't going to appreciate tattoos. It's just a fact, like some people don't like them. They're not. Everyone's like, oh, tattoos, they're so amazing, whatever. <laughs> um, <coughs> I mean, I'm not discriminative about tattoos, really. I mean, I don't like them myself, but I'm not stopping anyone from sort of having them, you know. The majority of people are like, oh, tattoos, they are so great. You're such an individual. Wow, I love you. I mean, I'm not seeing it a lot, but I'm sure that some people are in certain job roles. It's not really acceptable to have. Hmm, that's a really tricky question. Um, they can be changed. If, if people get tattoos for the right reasons rather than just getting a tattoo, then I think their opinions can be changed yet. I don't think they will be. No. I'm, not, I'm not sure that if you can change people's opinions on tattoos, um, they're pretty hard grained into society as it is. Mm. Because I think if people have an opinion about it, it's either like a, it's a strong opinion. So like, to change someone's opinion on it is really difficult and you can never change everyone's opinion. I really don't think they can. People are going to think whatever the hell they want to think about whatever. I don't know, like the opinions of them, I don't know. I think they can be changed. If it becomes something where people are liked for having tattoos, I mean, some people, they do it for that and some people, they just do it because they like it. Um, they're seen as a sort of a rebellious thing. Right. It's, it's permanent, it's, it's not like a haircut. If you have a haircut, you can change your haircut from one year, or one month to the next even. I mean. There's always gonna be people that like don't agree with it, but I think we can make a start by just doing whatever we want. The majority of people got their first tattoo between the ages of 16 and 18. The majority of them didn't have any tattoos. Eighty-three percent of the people thought that tattoos are more likely to be negatively viewed. The majority of people thought that tattoos are a way of self-expression. Out of the ones that got tattoos, none of them regretted them. Fifty years ago, the only people that had tattoos were thugs and criminals. Nowadays, as it's becoming more socially acceptable, people are being influenced by celebrity idols such as Harry Styles, David Beckham and Cheryl Cole. As you can see from all the information we collected in today's programme, it shows tattoos ever increasing social acceptance and how it will only increase in years to come.